Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live with another review for you. And this guy I have been waiting for for quite some time. I've had him for a while, I just never got around to reviewing him because I'm kind of lazy and I do other things. Anyway, but this is the Transformers Generations 30th Anniversary Autobot Springer. And I love this figure. We have been begging for Springer for quite some time. And we finally got one, and man, did we ever get one. If you're uh, noticing, this guy is not in a, uh, a G1 Springer's look. Because anybody who has G1 Springer knows he's kind of crappy. But he's a good figure. You know, he's G1. Uh, this follows more of the um, Nick Roche um, um, Last Stand of the Wreckers design. And I love it. This guy is absolutely fantastic. If you see him, pick him up. Um, of course, we're going to see his uh, redeco sandstorm here real soon. But anyway, let's get him out of the way. And let's take a look at the packaging here. we got a nice shot of Springer looking very IDW-ish. If that's a word, it is now. Triple changer, robot to helicopter, or, uh, or two armored car. Yes, yes he does. He does it very well. Uh, on the back, or the side, you got a shot of Springer right there. On the other side, you kind of got just nothing. And, you know, the artwork kind of goes back there. And we get a look at the actual figure back there. And whereas uh, sometimes when you get the figure on the back of the box and the paint apps don't really match the figure, they match up very well this time. Uh, you get a look at the helicopter, look at the, you know, the uh, armored car mode, and look at his tech specs down there. So anyway, that's a box. Who cares? It's a box. Let's take a look at Springer. And yes, Springer is a triple changer. This is his armored car mode. And uh, I find this mode very nice. It rolls real well. Uh, his two accessories are his gun up here and his sword, which actually stores down here. Now that's kind of a note from the Fans Projects Defender, where they stored the sword underneath the armored car. And honestly, the, the Fans Project one was the uh, only Springer that we had for a while. This guy makes up for it. This guy so makes up for it. I do have a problem, like his windows don't seem to want to tab in here, but it's 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 okay. Um, sometimes they tab in, sometimes they don't. We just gotta give them a little push there. Well, they're not wanting to tab in now, but still, it doesn't take away from them. This is a nice car. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at one of his accessories here. Well, actually, we'll look at both of them. The sword actually pegs in down here. These have become his uh, struts in the landing gear. And you just kind of take it off. And there's two tabs here that correspond to some slots here. And that's that's the sword. We'll take a closer look at that later. Well, I mean, that is the sword. And I'll show you how this transforms to a helicopter blade. But this looks really nice for a sword. Uh, normally it looks like a helicopter blade or it looks like a sword that's made into a helicopter blade. But this is actually done real well. I'll show you that detail in a second. But you also have his cannon here, which has this handle that tilts. I haven't exactly seen what that's for, and he has two missiles here. Now this isn't a spring, it's just a friction button, but what happens is you press one, and there's one, and there's two. So that's kind of cool, and it's just friction missiles, but they shoot pretty well. Also, I'm not sure why, but you can it's got a hole up here you can fit the sword in. I guess if you want a serious bayonet, sure. But yeah, nice double barrel blaster, pretty cool. So let's get this back down. Oops. Yeah, that's where kind of doing that. I, I pressed a lot of the stuff out right there. He does lock together very well, except for this part up here. Anyway, you've got the the split spoiler in the back. I don't like this part right here. It kind of just it doesn't really lock in anywhere. But you kind of set it there. It works. But some nice details on the side. It looks very very Mad Maxish uh, Maxish. Maxish. That just sounds funny saying. Uh, you've got translucent headlights up here. So all this is uh, painted, and this is where the actual translucent plastic is. Nice Autobot symbol right there. This yellow seems a little bit shinier than this metal, uh, this yellow here, but that's okay. Uh, nice tough looking wheels. Uh, you kind of see some kibble underneath. Well, actually, you don't see a lot of kibble underneath. You kind of make out his head there. But you can't really tell where the hands are or where the feet are, and I dig that. Of course, you can get the spoiler. You can kind of angle it that way, or actually, that kind of looks kind of cool like that. Hmm. Nah. 
Or you can angle it up like that. There you go. Yeah, it looks very Batmobile-ish. These parts, they, uh, I like to keep them out like this, but they're very easy to push back in. So, see, that part just doesn't want to get in there. There we go. See, it seems like it just doesn't want to peg in right there. And it does have a hole up here where you can uh, put the gun to, but uh, it's kind of shallow. I'm not sure why. Oh, uh, that's uh, actually used uh, on his back. That's what that one's for. So anyway, that is the armored car mode. Very nice. I love the translucent windows. This is a great design. And stay tuned because he does more. See, what you want to do, we're going to go ahead and take them to helicopter mode. I like to start out by taking these panels here and pulling them forward out like that. And you rotate them around and you cover the front wheels. I know it's a little harder to do, but uh, there we go. Rotate that up. And you want to take this back part here and you can kind of un peg that from the sides. Take the fins and tilt them back. Take this and just push it together. And you pretty much got the back section right there. So it kind of looks like a rotor. It covers up the wheels nice. I can dig it. Next you want to take these bits right here. Sorry if I didn't get that on camera. Yeah. That's the back section there. Next you want to take this portion right here and just, well, I'm sorry. You want to take this. There's a couple of hinges here. Here's the elbow. You want to bring this one all the way in and bring the car windshield down. And it looks like it will tab further, but it won't. And you want to make sure this one is straight because there's a tab here that corresponds to a slot inside of here. And you just want to meet these two together here. So you got like a little fin here for when it becomes a copter. So once again, bend it here. Take this down. Move this forward and tab it in. Next you want to take this part here. This front cockpit. Pick it up and it clicks in pretty well up here. And bring it forward forward and there's a slot up here and a tab on the windshield and it pegs right in there. Next take this portion and bring them, oops sorry, let me bring this camera up a little bit, that'll help. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, you want to bring this portion down and lock it into here. It does lock in better than that. Oh no, that's it. Take the other one, do the same. Starting to look like a helo now. Now these legs here, they pinch together pretty well and they got tabs and slots here and it almost, that's as far as they go on mine. Uh, they don't really lock in that well. Uh, you want to bring these down too because they become kind of like landing gear. And away, bring the tail fins down. So you got part of this helicopter mode here. And let me get back to that sword. Now with the sword, what you want to do is take it and just split it apart and bring it down like this. Bring this part up and just lock them in. And it locks in pretty nicely. And if you look at the tail, the, the rotor here, it's actually angled on this side and flat on this side. And you've got a lot of detail of an actual rotor. And it spins very well. Anyway, you want to take that, plug it into the top. And there you have Springer in his helicopter mode. And it's not perfect, but this is an awesome helicopter. I love this thing. Oh, and also you can take the gun. And it fits underneath this cockpit. Oh, he does have a landing gear down here, so you can actually use that um, without this. But this, become, this landing gear becomes obsolete when you put this on because there's a little angle right here. And it kind of fits up into there. And it doesn't want to fit always. It just kind of, kind of. Well, uh, it gets easier as you go along, I guess. Oh, you hear, and that's when I'm going to get into those nice ratchet doors. So now he's got a big cannon on the front of this helo. So yeah, this is uh, pretty nice. 
I mean, they, they, Hasbro never gave us a redone Springer. They've kind of given us redone Springers that just weren't that great. This one is great, gotta say. And we're not done yet, so let's move on. So we're going to remove this gun. But yeah, great helicopter mode. Love it. Take this off. And we're just going to go ahead and turn this back into a sword because we're going to robot mode. And Springer needs his blade. All right, so that part's done. We kind of want to move these out of the way. And you want to take these back pieces here, and they become the feet. There's a heel spur in there. Take the legs and split them apart, and they straighten back out. You want to bring these up, and they become kind of his uh, knee spikes there. Next, you want to move this landing gear out. And also go ahead and move this down just because it's a lot easier. Uh, bring the head up because it's a really tight area in here. You got to kind of start it in and then bring this down, and that becomes his chest. And his head is revealed pretty much. Now, these pieces right here tab into slots here. I guess we'll bring them down there. Get in there. There we go. And same thing with the other side. Now, with these arms, you want to open up this cock piece, pit, piece again. Bring out his fist, which was hidden inside of there. Sandwich these two together, and then you can close that back. Same thing on the other side. Open this up. Bring it down. Bring out the fist. Put them together. Bam. Bam. Fold this back piece up just to kind of get it out of the way. Lock that in. And with these pieces down here, you can just kind of bring them down. It kind of gives them a little bit more stability. And these pieces, to make them look really like the IDW version, come up and split off to the side. And there you have Generations. And I just pulled that down. Okay. And there you have Generation Springer in his robot mode. And God, I love this guy. So awesome. I was so glad that they made him and they knocked it out of the park with this mold. Um, get into a couple of points of articulation with him. You can't really do much down here. He does have kind of an ankle tilt here. But it, it, it's hindered because of this back piece. It's there, but it's not really usable. You hear that? Nice ratchet joints. I love ratchet joints. Love me some ratchet joints. These are not. He's got the uh, thigh articulation there. Goes out of the hips. Goes forward. Uh, no waist articulation just due to the transformation. These parts tend to pop out a little bit. But also the uh, arms here are actually pegged in here. So you can kind of bring them out. They kind of sit more naturally. But he's got a nice like. There's a hinge here. And there's a ball joint recessed all the way in there. You can't really see it, but it's in there. Elbows have a nice ratchet joint. And you get uh, an ankle swivel. I mean, a wrist swivel. That's about it there. And the head is on a very nice ball joint. And he also has some great light piping. Just those uh, just great blue light piping. Like I said, I may be gushing a little bit, but I love this figure. So glad they brought this in. Of course, you got his big old double barrel shoddy and fit his sword over here. So Springer is loaded to bear right here. I'm telling you, this guy is great. Uh, for comparison in robot mode, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my fans project Springer, who was good. He's had his day. I, I love this figure despite the flaws with it. I mean, it's one of fans projects first offerings but your day in the sun is gone sir yeah he, he's earned a, a honored spot on my shelf but this guy here fits perfectly with my classics great design love the homage to uh last stand of the wreckers if you see this guy you're a transformers fan if you enjoy the nostalgia of the old movie pick up this springer really great guy Anyway, I'm Jason the X for SCNS Live. This has been another tour review from me. Uh, watch the show. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff. And until next time, guys, keep on nerding. I'll catch you later.